I feel embarrassed talking to the camera with you here. You took like a six month. Yeah, I just, I just needed some maternity leave. Sure. Sure. What, Bubba? What, Bubba? So we're getting back into the swing of things. It might be a little funky for a little bit, but we're gonna do it. And this will be the first vlog back. And I'll get to show you sis after she wakes up and I'll tell you guys her name. I'm sure you already know if you follow me on Instagram. Uh, so I'm posting on uh, there. What? Yeah. What? Bub got a haircut yesterday so he looks really cute. We'll have to fix it today. Uh, yeah, what the fixed your hair? Yeah. Yeah. But we don't really have much planned for today besides later after his nap we plan on going to like a little aquarium slash zoo type thing. We wanted to go to a bigger aquarium in the Tulsa area, but I don't know if that's gonna happen, so we're gonna do this one. And I knew about it, but it seemed super small. But then I saw a video about it and it didn't, it didn't look that bad. So I don't know, I don't really know much about it, but we'll see how it is, and how good it is, and let you guys know. But I think I'm just gonna try and pick up our house because it looks crazy right now. What are you, what are you doing today? Getting ready to go to Cincinnati. Yeah. You're not even in the frame. Huh? Not even in the frame. Yeah, Ashton is leaving on Sunday to go away for a week, so. To go away. To go away. He's going away for a while. Uh, for a mission trip in Cincinnati, Cincinnati, so. That is correct. You haven't been in a video in a long time. I know it. You know, it's nice. Yep. We look like the same hair color. Right? And then we yeah, have this kid. What are you saying? You say hi everybody. Say hi. Say hi, hi everybody. Bomb a kiss. Mwah. You haven't been in the video in a while either. His hair. He got a haircut, but that's why I said we have to fix it today. His hair is a little. All done. His hair gets like Jackson's in the morning. It's like Ashley's. Oh, you want to hold the camera? Yeah. All right. Okay, that may not work. I do. Everybody's about to get sick. Okay, how's it going? <laughs> like this. I need help making sure. Cheese. Paper towel. Oh, let's throw that in the trash. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> oh, okay. Are we all done cleaning? Yeah. Well, then you better start cleaning up. Wipe it all up. Guitar. Okay, sis is fed and happy, and so I'm gonna introduce you guys to her. I was gonna blow dry my hair, but I decided to let it air dry, so that's why it looks kind of crazy, but I'll let me get her. <laughs> okay, oh my goodness, her bow. Let's fix it, let's fix it. Can we fix it? Fixed it. Okay, so this is Calibri. Her name is Calibri Truth, and she's almost three months old. She'll be three months old next week, which is crazy to think about. But I just think she is the cutest baby in the whole world. Her little belly. Let's put your shirt down. But isn't she so cute? Oh my goodness. She has gray eyes right now which me and Ashton were super shocked about. Asher has brown eyes, but they're not as dark as Ashton's. So Ashton has really dark brown eyes and I have hazel eyes. So we're kind of thinking that hers might end up turning hazel, but right now they're like a gray and sometimes they even look blue, which is kind of crazy. But Ashton's brother actually does have green eyes, I think, blue green eyes, I don't know. So we were thinking maybe it might turn out like his too but she is just so cute the sweetest baby she smiles so much and she sleeps pretty good i would say she sleeps like a baby <laughs> um like you'll have some nights where she sleeps through the night some nights where she wakes up when she's hungry so it's just i wouldn't say it's too bad could it be better probably but she's like two months old so i'm not worried about it um she eats super well uh, with Asher, I had to exclusively pump. Being like in the NICU for 40 days, we just didn't really, I feel like, get that establishment. And then also just being like a first time mom and not having a clue about it. Like, I just feel like the more confidence you have in it, the smoother it goes. And I was not that confident in it. And he was so tiny and I was super worried about his weight all the time. So she's been feeding really well. We're exclusively breastfeeding. Ashton tried to give her a bottle and um, she did not like it. So. We might have to try a different bottle or just kind of keep trying different things to see if she'll take a bottle eventually because if we ever want to go do anything she'll need to take a bottle but she's been so alert lately she stays awake for like we do which i wouldn't say she's on a schedule but i would say that she has like a nice rhythm or like routine so normally she eats and then stays awake for a while and plays and then takes a nap Oh, there's a little burp. Please don't spit up on me. But we call her Coco. She has a lot of different names. We call her Coco, Coco Nugget, Coco Bean, Coco Nut. Sometimes I call her Coke Sash, and so that one's a little weird, but I just love calling her by all her nicknames. And Asher loves her. If he was awake right now, he's taking a nap, he would he like loves to hold her and hug her and kiss her and say baby and say coco and it's just i don't know it's just been really fun having to i would say in the beginning it was definitely an adjustment i was like oh my gosh like how are we going to do this and then slowly like just getting into especially getting into like a rhythm of things like really helped so we're feeling pretty good now definitely have bad days or i don't know bad days just not as well as other days of flying here there's been so many flies lately and I just can't take it. <laughs> that was a little spew. But also I wanted to let you guys know I had planned on making a birth vlog. And I got two or three clips I think. So I don't know. I could maybe see if I don't think that would even be like a video. Like it was just literally the beginning of me like kind of explaining what was happening. And then it got kind of wild and I didn't get any other footage. I think it would be a little different if I had a camera that I could set stuff up, but so I don't know if I was thinking about just telling her birth story and maybe adding a few of the clips that I do have. 
Um, I do have a video of her being birthed, but I'm not sure, pretty sure it's a little uh, graphic, so I don't know if that will be on here. <laughs> But I do have a few clips in the beginning, and like I figured I would let you guys know. I was kind of debating on telling her birth story, but I feel like I should. I would say that it went, did it go as perfectly as my plan? No. I'm not sure that anyone's plan comes out as perfectly as they think, but it went well. It went pretty well. I mean, I did have a successful VBAC, um, so that was super exciting. Recovery was so much, so much easier. I almost, like, I don't know. I just popped my head maybe I could do a video about my like c-section and then like a vaginal birth since I have done both and maybe just the pros and cons I will say I'm a little biased to the vaginal delivery so I don't know <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> that was so cute oh also I was gonna mention that her nursery is almost finished. I was waiting on a couple of things before she was born and then the thing actually arrived after she was born and I haven't put it up yet. So once I put it up, I will do a little tour of her nursery and show you guys. But yeah, I just wanted to introduce you to Coco, our little Coco. Oh, I should probably talk about her name. I, I like introduced her name and then I forgot that I haven't really talked about it on here because I haven't been on here. but. Her first name is Calibri, and I'll put it on the screen so you can see how it's spelt. And we, it's French for hummingbird, and I originally heard it from a show. Like the grandma had called her grandson like this as a nickname. And when I learned that it was French for hummingbird, I fell in love with it because my grandma loved hum hummingbirds and she was such a sweet person. And I can remember. Um, helping her in the garden and like having hummingbird feeders and it just the hummingbird reminds me of her so much and I loved her a lot she had a really big impact on my life um, she's no longer she here on earth but I don't even know how to say that she's no longer with us um, so it was kind of like a little what was I going to say a little knob to her what is the word you know what I'm saying right it's so for her to remind us of her and how sweet sweet and kind she was and caring she was like a nurse for a very long time um just cared for a lot of people and loved a lot of people and then calibri's middle name is truth i also have like a big typed out list on our instagram i think it's like the first or second picture of her me explaining her name <laughs> So you can look on there too, but her middle name is Truth. We're going back and forth between Truth or True. Um, we know someone's middle name is Truth and we thought it was so cool. So we didn't know if we should use it like all the way or if we could just do True. But we went with Truth um, just because we feel like it's really strong and we liked it. But just to remind us um, that there's only one Truth and that is Jesus and the Gospel. So it's just a reminder to us and to our daughter about that and to remember that, especially in this world right now where um, you're kind of told that there's everyone has their own truth. Um, so just to remind us that there is only the truth. Yeah, she's so cute. But yeah, we love her name. I love Calibri. It's super unique. I don't know if anyone um, that has that name. <laughs> and... I love to call her Coco. I originally, when naming, like when we were thinking of the name, I hadn't thought of a nickname or Coco, but Ashton was like, we could call her Coco. And he had called her Coco the whole time she was in uh, my stomach and the, in utero. And it just stuck. And so now it's literally like I call her Coco more than I call her Calibri. So I just feel like it's perfect. And I feel like she's perfect. And I just love her so much. <laughs> Can you say hi? Also, her outfit is from Amazon. It's super cute from Amazon. And these are Bloom head wraps. I'll link them both down below. These are our favorite bows. I love them so much. I love the way they look. I love that they're not huge and obnoxious. I don't like big obnoxious bows. And she comes out with so many styles. And it's a sweet little small shop, which I like to support. And just love them. Yeah. They make you look so cute, cuter than you already are, if that's even possible. <laughs> okay, you're probably getting sleepy. Oh, 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 my hair. I've been talking for 11 minutes. 
Okay, so Asher is sleeping, and then once he wakes up, we're gonna go to the zoo, and I'll take you guys along. Wait, don't, don't, just look, just look. The Nemo dad. Yeah, that's, that's Nemo's dad, Marlon. Yeah. Yeah. That's Dory. It's not really Dory. Oh, he's gonna keep you in my Woo! You feel it? He gave you a high five. Watch. Watch. Yeah, you put your hand in there. He did not like that. Oh, look how nice. Do you want to do that? Okay, well, we got to put your hand in. Oh, just keep your hand still. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Keep your hand out of your mouth. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are you having fun? Yep. <laughs> They're like, where are we and what are we doing? This is a face of a very happy toddler who had part of his dad's ice cream and his mom's snow cone. Son, I want to ask you a question. Do you understand that you're spoiled? Do you know what that, do you know what that means? Hey, do you know what that means? Okay, just look at him. This is what humans would be all the time if they didn't have self-control. <laughs> Just look at him. <laughs> look at him. Like, he'll probably be sick of it. There's no look, man. <laughs> and, and it also just goes to show you that he would take, he would politely take every single thing that we have. Yeah, politely. He says, please he'll say thank you. you. But he would take everything we have and not even care. Look at him. He took all of the rest of Jaxie's snow cone. He ate some of my, or a big part of my ice cream. Now he ate half of Jaxie's snow cone. And, normally, and look, and he's saying he wants more. Normally he gets his own snow cone. Look at him. We thought he was going to be okay today, but. Asher, are you thankful? Mm -hmm. Did you have fun at the aquarium? Mm -hmm. Nemo. Where, where is your Nemo? Where is his Nemo? <laughs> Where's his Nemo? No, but seriously, that cost me six dollars. Where's your Nemo? It was in the floorboard. Where's your Nemo? Oh, I have his Nemo. I'll go, I'll go get your Nemo. Hold on. They should write a movie about this. Like Finding Nemo. Oi! Oi! And where are you, Mama? Son. Look at me. 
Look at me in the eyes. It's all gone, bro. It's all gone. Trash. So let me ask you a question. Do you know what it means? Uh -uh. Why are you disrespecting me like this? In my own house. Why are you disrespecting? Hey. Do you, let me ask you a question. Do you think, do you think you run the house? Yes or no? Yeah? yeah? Me. Well, me. Who is that? Me. Who is it? Oh, we're taking it back. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Buff got to touch the butt. He got to touch the butt. You got to touch the stingrays and see Nemo and see Dory and all the other fishes and play Nemo. the water tables. Is it fishes or fish? I don't know. Maybe fish. Or is it All food, the other or is it fish. <laughs> fish or fishes, if you will. I just clean this look out of sticky is. But now. Is it time for a bath? Yeah, so now it's time for his bath. And thank you guys Bro, for coming along so nice with to our vlog today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Say bye. 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 <laughs>